Well, hello everybody, and welcome to today's episode of Nature with Urge. Today, I am near a river, and as you can see, it's very tranquil, and it's very nice. You know, just a nice little spot. It's such a nice day outside today. As I record this, it's 9-11. So I would just like to take a couple bulbits to remedis, you know. Um, when 9-11 happened, I was in 7th grade. I believe when I found out it might have even been first period. Uh, I was in pods class, which is products of a democratic society or something like that. Uh, that's what the acronym stood for. And, uh, it was very shocking, you know, at the time I was only, I was going to be 13 in two weeks at the time, so I wasn't even 13 yet, um, but we, uh, watched it in, uh, science class the following period, we watched the news, uh, the second plane already hit. By the time that happened, I think the second plane might have already hit by the time we even found out in school. Um, and, uh, you know, I have my own beliefs about that day and why it happened. But we're not going to get into that today. Uh, the main thing I want to bring up is, do you guys remember... How unified we were after 9-11. Everybody was on the same side. We were 100% all in together. And uh, that's the first and last time I've ever seen it in my lifetime. I'm 32 years old now. Uh, so 19 years, you know. Um... But it's like if we could get that unified behind that attack, why can't we get unified behind police brutality? There's some of these other issues that we have going on all the time. Because um, to me, they're, they're, it's a, you know police brutality is terrorism. You, you're causing panic and terror to somebody and potentially their entire family you know um, it's just domestic terrorism really um, but yeah I would just like to get back to being that unified you know I thought it was you know, looking back at the tie by, like I said, I wasn't even 13, so I didn't really even care all that much about the unity aspect, you know? Um, but nice little fire spot, camp spot, fireplace, whatever. Um, but I would just like to get back to that unity, you know, really. It got to the point where we we didn't even have french fries anymore. We had freedom fries. You know, like you know, American flags sold off the shelves in, in droves, cases. You know, like And now I might not be the most patriotic man, but I do believe in unity. And I feel like that's what our country is lacking most right now. And I feel like it's all by design, but that's another conversation for another day. Um, unity. That's what I want to come back. Unity. Unity. 
that was the best silver lining about 9-11 was just the unity that we all had. I don't really believe in wars, and I think the war that we went to in 2004 after 9-11 was bullshit. Um, George W. Bush, a little fucking moron, but what are you going to do? They'll always use devastation to their advantage. Queen Latifah said, U N I T Y, U N I T Y, that's a unity. U N I T Y, U N I T Y, that's a unity. U N I T Y. I hope you guys are enjoying your day though. I also remember the first SmackDown after 9-11, two days later, and the crowd was so hype, so hype, and uh, Lillian Garcia killed the Star Spangled Banner, she absolutely murdered it, uh, and if it doesn't bring a tear to your eye, I don't know what's wrong with you, go look it up on YouTube. Smackdown 9-11 tribute show. Uh, it's crazy. And the crowd is so hype. So hype. USA! 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 Like they were screaming so loud. People in Afghanistan could have heard them. Like, just wild. Just wild. And it was the first event after 9-11. It was the first time, you know, the Star Spangled Banner was sang. It was good. Do it, do do. I need South Park to come back soon. I needs it. I needs it in my life.
If you haven't noticed by now, nature with RJ is half talking, half soothing sounds of nature. You know? That's all. Nothing crazy. You know what I mean? All right, folks, well, that's going to conclude this episode of Nature with RJ, 9-11 special. Uh, thank you to all the service people out there. Uh, we do appreciate you. We uh, just don't appreciate the corrupt and brutal ones. Um, but if you are not one of the corrupt and brutal ones, thank you for all of your service that you do. And until next time, folks... Stay safe out there, get some air, chill out, peace.